Oh, there is a conservative versus conservative war going on right now. Ann Coulter said that she would never vote for Vivek Ramaswamy because he's Indian. And this is some Republican versus Republican stuff. David, let's talk about it. I ain't saying I agree with her, but I'm just glad somebody spoke their mind without fear. Let's run the clip. Um, when you were running for president, but I still would not have voted for you um, because you're an Indian. We'll get Boom, Andrew, this is going so viral right now. This was on Vivek Ramaswamy's podcast. He was interviewing conservative commentators. Some people call her a shock jock, Ann Coulter. And she went on to say, I agree with you on many, many things you said during, you know, you're running for president, but I would still have not voted for you because you're an Indian. Mm. His face changed immediately after she said that. Yeah, I mean, but uh, I mean, even for a Republican or a conservative pundit, as she is called, I guess a lot of people are shocked. So we're going to go through it, guys. We have a lot of comments and we're going to give our take on this because actually both the left and the right are weighing in on this. Right, so check out smallassaussmallassauce.com. She went on to say, Andrew, there is a core national identity that is the identity of the wasp. And it doesn't mean that we can't take anybody else in, a Sri Lankan, a Japanese, or an Indian, but the core around the which the nation's values are formed is the wasp, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. So she just said, Andrew, she feels comfortable if somebody's at least third generation and at least half wasp. Because mm. she said Obama was even half wasp. Interesting. That, was, that was her argument. And I'm assuming, obviously, she was not a big fan of Obama either. Right, right, right. And it's interesting, if you guys really study history, German Anglo-Saxons went from Germany and, like, took over England a thousand years ago. So are English people just Germans from a thousand years ago? I don't know, guys. It gets really complicated. Anyway, some people were saying that Vivek was one of those minorities that thought he was one of the good ones and could get by on his accomplishments and conservative ideals. But it goes to show you, in terms of a voting block, uh, white people will never accept him on the right. Yeah, and this is where I would say, listen, voting for president is still an emotional choice for a lot of people. That's why I think personally local leaders, local politicians end up being more diverse looking because it's more about just like who really wants to lead the community. Because you're but, saying most people only vote in national elections. Yeah, but a lot of people when they vote for the symbol symbolic president they tend to be more emotional and just want that person to fit the leader look. That's why most presidents, actually all of them, have been six feet and over. and Usually good looking. And mostly white, even including Obama, who's half white. Raised by whites, to be honest. Um, uh, somebody said, yep, goes to show you the right has no more dog whistles or coded language. They're just saying they're uh, covert racism now with blatant racism. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people were saying, listen. To be fair, Republicans are hung up on a lot of things. They didn't like JFK and Biden for being Catholic. Ann Coulter clearly has an issue with Catholics slightly. And they didn't vote for Mitt Romney and never would let him rise up that high because he was Mormon. Uh, yeah, no, that is really interesting. And Mitt Romney is a tall, rich, good-looking white guy, by the he, way. He looks very presidential. Yeah. Um, somebody was saying, you know, of course, there was a lot of arguments in the comments section being like, well, if you don't look like an American, how can you represent America on a global stage? And of course, this led to another comment saying, Andrew, some British people were like, you know, um, Rishi Sunok is the leader of the UK where the Anglo-Saxons that populated America, where the Anglos are from, and he's not even an Anglo himself. Yeah, it's really interesting, guys, the whole idea that so many people in America want to hold on to this old image of what... I can understand if she's trying to say the values of America, but then like the whole image of what an American is has always just looked really different. So I just think it's it's kind of wild, but. It's really interesting too. I actually, this is on an aside, Andrew. I saw some 23andMe research. Most white people in America are actually German mm -hmm. more than English, but everybody wants to disassociate from Germany post-World War II. So that's why people accentuate their right, English right, right. sides. Anyway, guys, moving on to seven main thoughts about this. Um, Do you think it's true that this is a, the way a lot more Americans think similar to Ann Coulter than people feel politically correct, able to say? For sure. I mean, Ann Coulter over her career has said some wild stuff uh, and is kind of like, I don't want to say says it as a joke, but kind of says it to provoke emotion. But yes, I do think a lot of Americans would not have voted for Vivek because he's a Indian guy. Who, he's kind who, of like a shorter Indian guy. And he's, he is Hindu, yeah. even though he says he kind of believes in Christianity. And he also is not a lifelong politician who is not from the system. So there's like, I think there's a number of factors, but essentially he's Indian. Yes, yeah. a lot of people were saying that Trump would have picked Vivek for sure as his VP if he wasn't an Indian Hindu. Maybe, yeah. You mean if he was like a Christian Indian? 
No, if he was just not, because he there's some belief that it won't get the base activated off the look. Mm. Yo, yeah. see, I will say this. The one part, a lot of people were saying Vivek was such a coward for saying I applaud her honesty. But in a way, even though she's being a shock jock and almost like a little boozy, you know, like sometimes people are always like little boozy, just wilding, saying some crazy stuff. I'm like, it is a thought that is not out in the ether, even though a lot of people think it in their mind. I mean, would you rather have people say what's on their mind or not on their mind? Number two, Andrew, referring to what Ann Coulter's theory is, are there just winners and losers in society? And if the Wasps won, was it their superior genetics that allowed them to win? Mm. So this is just like basically what she was kind of saying. Like she was saying the Wasp, uh, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant work ethic and the non-top-down thing versus Catholicism allowed them to just have like a better structure. And she's saying, I want presidents to represent that structure visually. So she's saying, uh, because she did go on to say, and I watched part of the interview, uh, she went on to say she's very much a lookist. So she's basing on looks and which is really interesting because I think her, a lot of her career was also based on looks as well because you know, she's a tall blonde lady. Before she started looking like a skeleton, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now she looks like a skeleton. I mean, she's like pretty old. But anyways, uh, also possibly evil. But I guess like, yeah, she's just saying that if the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant culture is the basis of of what made America successful, then let's keep it going and let's get people who represent that. But I think, what if, I mean, there's a, a white person who, who's like, doesn't look like that, but that could still represent it. I think that, I'm, I, I would assume most people agree that now it is a time in America where like people can accept someone who doesn't look like that to represent those values, you know? Right, right, right. I thought she was gonna maybe directly get at Vivek's like maybe she's like well maybe you believe in the caste system secretly in your heart but you don't want to let it on and you're going to reflect that in America I thought that that would have been almost like even extra personal then right, you probably right, would have right. got at her um point number three Andrew do the religious beliefs of a leader impact the way that they govern right like for example um a lot of, I guess a lot of capitalistic countries that have been successful are either Protestant or atheist like a lot of countries in East Asia are very economically successful too and they're more like atheist you could say they're Buddhist or Taoist or I guess South Korea is more recently converted to Protestantism but like they're not really impacted by religion I just think that there's certain religions that vibe more with capitalism mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 more than others um point number four Andrew are, are, is it because, Andrew, we have different genetics than Europeans or Western Europeans? Are we like think pads? And the way she's viewing us is that you can't put Mac OS on a think pad. Right. You mean you're saying like the way she's viewing, for example, just in this example, Indians, she's like Indians are so different. Even if you as an Indian American adopt and grew up in this country, that's not enough. I would need maybe your children. Who, and then if they married a white girl, then maybe I would accept them and no, vote for she them. She literally says that. Yeah. I, she says, Vivek, I would need your kids to marry a daughter of American Revolution for me. Then it would hit my threshold. Now, is she kind of saying like, I need you to at least marry into a waspy family <laughs> to show loyalty to America? I think that's what she's saying. And right. honestly, that feeling is what a lot of people have. And in fact, that is even a feeling that a lot of people have even just when like uh, in all of interracial dating, right? right? There's a lot of these pundits or people who speak out and say, oh, well, you know, if you don't, if you're a black man, you don't marry a black woman, you're not really down for black Dr. people. Umar. Yeah, but, or, or on the other side, Asians, it's like, yeah, you know, if an if a, if a Asian man marries a non-Asian or, or if an Asian woman marries a non-Asian guy, she don't, yeah. does she really care? It's like, those are real feelings that people have. She's just taking it to the presidential level. Right, right, right. No, these are real feelings, and I don't want to necessarily demonize somebody for the feelings. I do understand a little bit where white people are coming from, where they're saying, oh, we get extra demonized for feeling the way that a minority can feel, or blah, blah, blah. She but does they, look like a yeah, demon now, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, but you have to understand, too, there's also a historical uh, context of oppression and power dynamics and how you exploit those power dynamic advantages of leveraging here and there, so that's a whole other thing. Um, what is acceptable to be honest about? This is point number five, Andrew. Was Ann Coulter too honest or are you in agreement with Vivek of like, I applaud her honesty? Well, here's the thing. Ann Coulter is not a politician. She's not an elected politician. She's a commentator, author. She's essentially famous for talking and giving hot takes. Something like 
your uh, J uh, was this louder with Crowder or like any other of these Republican like like They're personalities, like comedians, right? Or like yeah, she's jocks. kind of a comedian. Like she's not an actual scholar politician. Yeah, I would say it's like little boozy or something like that. All right, she so she has written some books, but obviously right. she she is kind of like a yeah a shocking person. So I don't know. I mean, I think that you know if another politician said that, I think that that would be. That would be super problematic. Right. Is it that different from Charleston White? Uh, point number six, Andrew, I think that this has opened up a conversation that a lot of people feel like you previously could not have. Yeah, I think it's interesting that because this clip went viral, a lot of people are having this conversation now. And obviously, I think at a baseline, you can say Ann Coulter is racist. I think that's true. She's racist. I, I, I believe, believe it. That. I believe she that has she said is enough racist, racist I believe stuff. She believes that uh, whoever looks like her is the best people. Yes, yes. Uh, she's racist, but I also think a lot of people deep down are kind of racist too. So I think that hopefully this can possibly lead to some productive conversations. Maybe. Right. I mean, ultimately, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For me, it was just weird to see. I guess. Vivek just act like that was just a real regular thing to say. <laughs> but at the same time, hey, man, the old way of hiding how you feel was not working. So everybody just going to bring it out, you know, bring out Internet comments, but just put it in a little bit more of an official format. You know, it was on Vivek's podcast, but the quality was so good. It kind of looked like a like a TV interview. I think that that's what was shocking to people, too, because people are used to hearing those things in an IG comment that's misspelled with mm. no avatar, but not just from a person who looks like they might say that. Right. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time with the Hot Pop Boys, we out. Peace. Peace.